took a sabbatical from my business and I decided to get a business coach consultant to figure out what my next move is. And from our first session, what came back was, Melanie, you're an artist. People always ask me, why did you go back to school? You have a successful career. You have so many things going on for you. Really, why did you go to grad school? My response is because many don't know that, yes, I've been a designer. I still am a designer for more than 20 years. I've been designing rugs, textiles, anything with a surface and you could put a pattern on it. I was interested in designing it. But what I realized about being a designer and working in an industry that really didn't support the way I wanted to express myself, I had to find a way out. I was feeling suffocated and I knew that my ideas were not supported. I applied to grad school um, a few times. Actually, this is my third time applying to grad school. And on the second try, I realized that when I looked at my portfolio, um, I wasn't ready. And so I was determined to create a portfolio that had a focus on what I wanted to create and how I wanted to express myself. And I knew that this third go around, I was gonna get accepted. And I did, I got five offers. I chose Tyler because for a few reasons. I was at a stage in my life where if I'm gonna choose to be in a space, I did not want to be the only black person. And I knew Tyler was in a city that had black people, celebrated black culture. And I really wanted to have um, a diverse group of faculty who I were gonna learn from. And I didn't want to be in a space where there was only one black teacher. I wasn't interested in learning in those type of environments. The way I approach my practice is all about process, material. Those materials inform color, then pattern, and then how I relate to history. So I'm really interested in the legacies of black women and the black women makers. I come from a lineage of black women makers, and I'm, my work is constantly paying homage to their experiences, which is a part of my experience. And, and then reimagine that I would be working in these different materials, and what would I be making? And I start to look at the processes of spaces where I feel colonization hasn't been touched, or areas of black culture where there isn't a Western influence and I start to look at how things are made, specifically through the hands of black women. There are times when I'm in the studio when I don't know what I'm going to make, but I like that. I don't want, I don't want to have everything planned. I want there to be some surprise, some discovery. I think that's a beautiful part of being a creative, it's that discovery, the unknown. Because when I leave that studio, that's when I have to deal with the rest of the world. And so what I do now is I really spend most of my time in the studio because I feel safe, I feel protected. And I don't get questioned, there's no judgments. So whatever comes out, it just comes out. Some things I think are better than others, but that's part of the process. While I'm working, I'm constantly thinking about the ancestors, and that could start from from my grandmother, who was actually born in Guyana. She grew up in St. Vincent, a tiny island in the Caribbean, and she migrated to the U.S. in the 50s on her own. At the time, she had four children, and she left them with her mother. And it was a period of about, about six years before she saw her children again. So I think about what that could have been like. I could only imagine how hard that must have been, especially during a period where there was no social media, no internet. Um, the only way of communicating was through letters. And then I think about how my mother was the oldest at the time, 
how she didn't have that experience uh, with her mother, what that would have felt like as a child, as a child, you know, not being able to create that bond, especially knowing how tight the bond I have with my mother and to think about how she didn't have that. People always ask me, so what was grad school like? Besides the intensity of the classes, I really did get more than what I thought I would. I didn't have an expectation. I knew I wanted to spend the next two years dedicated to my practice. What that meant, what that looked like, I had no idea. I had interests, I pursued them. I had questions, I asked them. When I needed help, I found the support. And that's what grad school has given to me. I'll look back on this moment in my life and I'll say, wow, I still can't believe that I actually went back to school. But I did. And what I've created here, I really believe that it's going to carry me to new heights that I could never have imagined without having this experience. Honestly, it's one of the best decisions I've made in my 40s.